All right, so here we move into equations now. So before we were doing expressions, now we're going to do equations. So 6.2 part 1, one-step equations. So I can solve one-step equations. So the main thing we're going to be using today are inverse operations. So these are operations that undo each other, so like addition and subtraction and uh, multiplication and division, right? They undo each other. And so... Um, One-step equations, meaning we are going to do one operation in each problem, okay? So with one-step equations and all equations, we need to think of, of the equal sign, like the middle of a balance. And so right now, our balances are equal on each side. So even though you probably could figure out what X is in this first problem, I'm going to show you the way we need to show it mathematically and how we solve it for equations because when we get into two-step, multi-step, and so on, this is the way you're going to need to show it, okay? So um, with a balance, if I do something to one side, I have to do it to the other side or I will not keep it equal, right? If I add something to the left side and not the right side, it would tip, okay? So everything we do to one side we have to do to the other side to keep our balance equal, okay? The other thing about inverse operations, the reason we're doing it is because we're trying to get the variable by itself. That's what means to solve an equation is that you have to get the variable by itself. So when I need to get x by itself, right now it's being added by 7, right? I want to get this by itself. And the only way to do that is to use an inverse operation. So this is add 7, so the opposite or the inverse would be then to subtract 7, right? And so plus 7, minus 7, cancel each other out, and now the only thing on this side is x. But because this is an equation and it's a balance, everything I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. Because if I only subtracted 7 from the left side, my balance would then tip. Okay, so then my equal sign goes back right here. And we would do 7 or 15, take away 7, and we would get 8. So then x equals 8, right? And w the way we can check that is we just plug our answer back in and we go, okay, well, x equals 8. So I'm going to go 8 plus 7, and see if that does, in fact, equal 15. And it does. So we're good. Check. Okay. So this thing that I'm doing is we sometimes call this our wall. Some people do it this way, just right down the middle. Um, you can also, let's see if I can get that to go away. There we go. You can also kind of draw it like this, like make it like a real wall, a thick one. So you know that's where your equal sign goes. So it's up to you. Or you can draw it with no wall whatsoever. So again, we're trying to isolate M or get it by itself. And we're going to use inverse operations. So now we're subtracting 12. So the inverse would be then to add 12, right? Minus 12 plus 12, those cancel each other out. It becomes zero and we're left with M by itself. I'm going to put my equal sign back here. But remember, everything we do to one side we have to do to the other side to keep the balance equal, okay? And so we add 28 plus 12, 8, 9, 10, and then 2, 3, 4, and we get 40. And again, you can always check these by taking your answer and plugging it back in. Is 40 take away 12 actually 28? Well, we can do it right here borrow, that is 8, and that is 2. So we're good, 28. Okay, why don't you pause here and see if you can do these bottom two using inverse operations, and then also make sure you do everything to one side, you do to the other side. Okay, so this time I'm going to use no wall of any kind, but it's up to you if you want to. Same idea though, everything I do to one side, and when we say one side, we mean the equal sign, I have to do the other side. So, again, I'm trying to get y by itself. This is subtract 15, so I'm going to add 15 because that's the opposite, but I have to do it to the other side of the equal sign, okay? 
I know I said no wall, but I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, so negative 15, positive 15, 0. I get y, put my equal sign back. Now be careful because this is a negative 27 and a positive 15. Remember, opposite signs mean we subtract. So 7 take away 5 is 2. 2 take away 1 is 1. And remember, bigger absolute value, so it would be negative 12. Okay, so then for this one, I'm going to use that other type of wall. So isolate N, get it by itself. Right? That's what isolate means, get it by itself. So adding 27 inverse would be subtract 27. If I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other. That then leaves me with N because positive 27 negative 27, 0. I get n equals, and again, also be careful, these are actually both negative, so we're going to add, so 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6, and because they're both negative, it is negative 6, 9. Okay, make sure your work shows the same. You cannot just put the answer, and you cannot only do it to one side. Remember, it's a balance. It has to have both sides. So this is um, multiplying and dividing, same idea. We're going to do the opposite of everything it says, and everything we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So, um, and every time I say the other side, I mean the other side of this equal sign, okay? Think of it as the middle of the balance. So this is multiply by 4, right? That's what it means by 4x, multiply by 4. So the inverse would be then to divide by 4. Well, that's because... 4 divided by 4 is just 1. And so I'm left with 1x. And if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other side. So I'm going to divide by 4 here. And then 44 divided by 4 would get me 11. You can check these as well. All right? We can check our multiplication and division problems. So I would do 4 times 11 and see if that equals 44, and it does, so check, okay? I'm gonna go down here to the division problem. Okay, so there's my wall, or there's my two sides. So we're dividing by eight, and what we have to be careful here is we're actually gonna multiply by eight over one like this, like a fraction. Well, that's a fraction, so I'm gonna multiply by a fraction to make it go away, okay? And that's because now I have 1, 8 and 1, 8, and they also kind of cancel each other out or make a 1. I'm left with y equals, and if I times by 8 here, I need a times by 8 here, and we get 32. You can also check your division. So if I got 32, I would just do is 32 divided by 8, in fact, 4. Yes, it is, so I am good. Okay, so pause here and try to do these two. Just make sure on this one you're writing it as a fraction on this side because this is a fraction as well. Okay, so multiply by negative 5. Don't lose that negative. We're going to take it with us. So we divide by negative 5. Same idea. This makes 1. So I'm left with 1x. Uh-oh. And then be careful of your multiplication and division. 40, positive 40 divided by negative 5 would get me negative 8. And that's because if I took a negative times a negative, it's going to get me a positive. Okay, so make sure you don't lose that negative sign. And then same here. Here's my wall or my two sides of my balance. I'm going to times by negative 6 over 1. Notice I'm taking the negative again. This becomes 1, and I'm left with m equals, and I'm going to times by negative 6 here. So 6 times 3 is 18, 6, 7, and because it's a positive times a negative, I'm going to get a negative. Okay, so a negative 78. So things to remember, one of them is already written down for you. 
is that whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you must do to the other side. And then just remember the word isolate means by itself. So here's your independent practice. You've got three problems to do. Make sure you get these done. And then don't forget to fill out your form and we'll go over these when we get back to class. Until next time.